kani kedai ke Batu Si TV. Bat pidang pet ya ke kubur baman kesni. Belawan rasa pi tak ke umrupa. Ringkat bat ke Orange Nissan. Lom sok po near Fire Brigade Shillong. New Nissan Kicks. Bookings open now. Kenang bagai jing pelong ya ke National Games. Hakani ke jelah megalaya house nam Arpo Arpo Ar. Kenang ke bejam. Mentah ke sorkar jelah megalaya kelaya syasyat. Hakani jing penkreat nak ke mentah ke lempong. Kebahe hakari India he broke away. Keban sepelong hakani ke jelah. Si bentar nak ke jing penkreat ya ke ni ke lempong. Hakani kat kendai bat ke Arpo terik mentah unai weng. Arajar kat kendai. Lapan long ru ya ke lempong ke bekerpang banyat heria tai. Halor ke jing penkreat. Kuntup nadu ke jing pelong ya ke ni ke lempong. Ke jing penbit penbiang ya ke jaka elek kai. Ke jaka sa jing kinong elek kai. Ke jing warak pisah nak ke bentar ke jing donkam. Dah ke bawang rak lang ru ya ke company bahaya kari. Bat ke jing etai. Dah ke riu syampang bat ke riu pokmat ke jelah. Ya ke ni ke lempong hak ni ke arsni. Ke balat tep kum ke Meghalaya National Games Outreach Summit 2019. La pelong dah ke Meghalaya State Olympic Association. Ringkat ke tenat sports and youth affairs ke jelah. Hak ke jing lang play ya ke ni ke lempong ya tai. Laidon Langru, U Menteri Rangpak Kejela, U Konrad Kongkal Sangma. Kumu Kongsan, ringkat U Menteri Sorkar Bepet, Ya Ketenat Sports and Youth Affairs, U Bak Bantai Do Lingdo, Kumu Sembut Kongsan. Bak layo iki kentian lamprang, halor kene kejelang, na U Working President, Jongka Megalia State Olympic Association, U Bak John F. Karshie. India, being one of the youngest country in the world, sport is becoming increasingly popular in the country. Happy that Meghalaya has been given the privilege to host national games and the government is working very hard to ensure that infrastructure for the game is built in time. Fund for the National Game Stadium has been embarked from the Ministry of Social Justice and we hope that fund for the same will be sanctioned soon, soon by the central government. We want to ensure that the infrastructure that is being invested for the games designed in such a way that it can be used and maintained in a sustainable way even after the games. We don't want to just build the infrastructure that will not be utilized properly after the games are over. We want to ensure that the infrastructure we build does not become white elephant, useless infra that does not use and deprecates. Therefore, a lot of planning is being put into place in this regard. Shillong is a high altitude of average of 500 feet in meter is 1,500 meters above sea level. It's a perfect place for high endurance training. We hope that the infra build can be idea by national team athletes for high altitude trainings in a regular basis, even after the games. With the good climate and clean air, Shillong is a perfect place for training for athletes. We hope that the national games will therefore give Meghalaya the opportunity to create world-class infrastructure that can be an asset for development developing sports in the country and making India an Asian powerhouse in sports. National Games uh, is coming up and it's a very, very important uh, uh, you know, event for the state. And I keep telling people it's not just a National Games uh, event. It's really like a timeline for us to ensure that we move things as fast as possible. And it's not just sports. It is Sports is going to be the center point of what's happening. But there's going to be a lot of things revolving around this. The National Games is about tourism. It's going to be very important for us. So we are working as a tourism department uh, and I'm, as tourism minister. So we have started moving and realizing that we need to be ready for the tourism aspect also when it comes to the National Games. 
we realized that the urban infrastructure is important. And therefore, last year itself, we made sure that we started moving forward and said that we will go ahead with a smart city. Uh, there might be some physical, uh, sorry, financial challenge in terms of uh, the financial resources which we might need to put in. But we must take the challenge. We must take this uh, opportunity to ensure that the infrastructure in terms of our uh, urban affairs also improves. At the same time, we also realized that there are areas of uh, road and flight connectivity which is very important to us. We cannot simply have a game and not have roads and not have the road uh, flight connected to it. So therefore, we are pushing very aggressively to ensure that connectivity to the state also improves. Not only that, we also realize that obviously when people come in, when the connectivity takes place, it's an economic opportunity for trade to take place, for agriculture to move forward, and we really would look at that also, the build up towards that also, to ensure that even the effects of this reaches those sectors also. So it's a very holistic plan, and we realize the, the massive impact that this will have, not just on sports, but on the economy of the state as a whole. And that's, that's where we're coming from. Uh, friends, I'm happy to inform you that uh, we are in a very, very advanced stage in terms of our main sports stadium, which I started working on last year itself. So last year there was a, a meeting that was held by the Social Justice Ministry where they decided that they will take up five locations, five locations in the country where they will have state-of-the-art uh, Olympic-sized stadiums for uh, facilities, sorry, for uh, disability sports. And uh, I took advantage of that and I moved with Government of India that out of these five locations, let the one in Northeast be in Shillong or the Eastern region in fact. There is only one Eastern region they had selected and we managed to make uh, include Shillong in that place. So five locations throughout the country were selected. Out of that, Shillong was one. And then after that, and then after that, uh, we worked harder for this. And last year, when uh, the uh, uh, expenditure finance committee, they call, which is the finance department, sits down and actually works out the financial requirements, uh, and then it is sent to the cabinet, they decided that out of these five they will start two right now, not all five, because the funds were limited. So they decided they were going to choose five, so there came my second challenge. So I moved ahead with, again with the Government of India, I worked very hard with officials and with the Minister concerned, and I'm happy to inform you that out of the five that they were supposed to select two, one was Gwalior and the other was Shillong. So then also we managed to move. Then it came to the cabinet in government of India and Prime Minister sat in the cabinet. And then this was just before the election when the cabinet took place. And that time, maybe it's an election decision or I don't know, I don't want to comment on that. But that time, uh, government of India only cleared one. There was a Gwalior one at that point and they kept the Shillong on hold. And they asked for more queries and they wanted, uh, because the Shillong one we had put in an amount of about 220. 230 crores and government of India, uh, or I should say the cabinet, uh, questioned why Shillong was 220 and why Gwalior was 175. So there was a difference because we were looking at this stadium to be not just for disability sports but for the national games also. So therefore there was a bit of difference in the price and maybe that led to a bit of delay. So beyond that then after that the elections came in and there was a delay in this entire process. And then recently about uh, two months, well a month and a half, two months back, when I met the Honourable Prime Minister, I brought this to him. I brought this to his notice that a project like this is just waiting in the cabinet to be approved. And once this is approved, then the work can start, and we will be having the stadium, which will not just be for disability sports, but it will also be for the national games. And he appreciated it. And again, I'm happy to inform you that the Prime Minister has again asked for the file to be put up. And accordingly, just last week, the Secretary of Social Justice was asked to come to Shillong and uh, see the location and uh, submit a report to the cabinet and accordingly uh, she had come, the secretary had come and uh, she saw the location which is in Rumsawli. Uh, it's uh, about a 50 acre land and she was very satisfied and she has given a very positive report and uh, now the, uh, the final uh, report and the cabinet note will be submitted to cabinet and I am very very hopeful that uh, this time since there's only one Shillong project, so hopefully it should be through and uh, Prime Minister has given a very positive response to it. 
And once that happens, I think the main stadium uh, will be not, not an issue for us. So that's the background of the social justice ministry uh, project that we're doing. At the same time, we realize that obviously uh, we need to build, and this one will have the swimming pool, the indoor stadium, the outdoor stadium, the track and field uh, events, so, and it will have also about a, a staying uh, facility for about 2,000 athletes. So it is it's quite a big, uh, a big project out there. But apart from that, since our locations will be in different, look, uh, different, uh, 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 different towns and cities, uh, so we do have uh, PS Sangma Stadium in Tura, which we are also putting up. So there has been, uh, recently we have floated uh, the tenders for the design for this, not we, but through the uh, PNC. They floated uh, the tenders for the design, and uh, hopefully the design aspect, uh, once it's completed, uh, this uh, upgradation of uh, the PS Sangma Stadium uh, is uh, also on our cards. We have already, as you are aware, we have different funds that we get. There are untied funds from the Government of India, uh, like uh, the Article 275 or uh, NEC and uh, Luna Ministry, um, you know, funds that come from Minority Affairs. So we have, as a government, also made a very, very con uh, you know, conscious decision that we will ensure that these flexible funds, these untied funds that we have, uh, we need to focus that more on the infrastructure development for the sports. So therefore, uh, yes, we're looking for a special package from the 15th Finance Commission. Yes, we're looking for a special package from the Honorable Prime Minister, which we hope we will get. But in the meantime, while that fund comes or may not come or whatever it is, but we do hope it will come and we're very sure it will. In the meantime, the funds that we have with us from central government and untied funds will be utilized to ensure that the work in these states is done.